this World Cup today. It's the site for France, Australia. Players to watch coming up after the break. Out of the shadow of Cristiano and Messi in terms of continuances. So plenty of experience. We saw Memo Ochoa. It's man up mentality. They have a strong team. I still think that they can get it done. Their fifth in succession, and for the second successive final weight, in behind Olivier Giroud. The most experienced at this level is Matthew Lecky. It's his third World Cup. It was... Statement of early intent here. For He's not too busy a man this evening. Corner is... That's broken kindly for Australia. There was a, just a t and Ibrahima Kanate has done very well since his nation. You tend to build up that level of confidence and expectation, so and extremely difficult to defend. Moy, who England Stoke City due to injury, it's a lovely reception of the ball there, but a great cross and a goal. Australia into the lead and France had no answer to it. Goodwin's second international goal. Here's Australia defending deep here. Happy that Matt Ryan. Here's Pavard. Back line of four to accept him as the onrushing. Also nine minutes. Teo Hernandez with key chance to link the play. Important player, a link between midfield and attack. Australia given cheap possession. Tremendous try. Moy. Mbappe. Decided not to take the crown away. So far, the journey is worth it. He vacated his space if Mbappe had actually poked it past him as well and somebody else. In by Hernandez! 1-1! One, one. Adrian Rabio equalises for the world champions. Important few minutes here for the Socceroos. Griezmann's cross. Distant. For the outside of time in his fine career. Yeah, he was a little bit behind. And they give the possession here. It's Rabio. Sets it up on a plate. And a milestone goal. In the shirt of Le Bleu. Now Giroud just one behind Henri. The pieces are brilliant. And the opposition are, are able to steal the space in which to turn into. Additional phase at the moment, only a handful of them have played in the World Cup before, under pressure again. And then a so yeah, between now and half time for the Socceroos. Now to receive the ball. Boyd by the two goals all the way back towards Lloris there. Here's the Mbappe. Oh, space inside that Australia penalty area again. This time for opening match in Group D earlier today between the Danes and Tunisia. Oh, Dembele. Griezmann! Heading shortly for a minimum of Griezmann to perfectly weighted pass. Oh, and it's over the top from Mbappe. Buries his head in the turf. 
arise. Since uh, Australia have been anywhere close to Larissa's goal, they are now. Oh, it's off the post. Jackson Irvine. Larissa. Th Austria, um, one of their opponents here, Denmark. We've had the. Here's Dembele. Another really good run, springing off his action from Algenoub Stadium to wrap up your last match of the day. And offered up a strong response from Didier Deschamps' team. The following edition, having won only three of the last 12. A little bit of casual play, well, absolutely for the second goal. B for the yellow shirts to attack Australia's first corner in by Goodwin. Here's Hernandez again. Stands up a beautiful cross. Well, we've seen him score many of those in his career. Mbappe. Well, that might bring us the game's opening yellow card. Looked hard enough across the front line for Australia, but he's only had 16 touches. And that's where they miss some Golo Conte. Yeah. Pass to deal with, and he stayed down there after the challenge. Here's Mbappe! Good recovery. He caused quite a few problems for Atkinson in this match. France attacking the goal behind which are their most uh, volume. Here's Mbappe. It's an Irvine again. Once again, it's Chilmeni who's on the receiving end of some stern tackling from the Australians. In towards Mbappe! Lovely header. And the man. 28 finals in Russia. It's that change of pace again. 4-1 France. And Olivier Giroud draws level with Thierry Henry. Now joint 